Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Alex and welcome back everybody to the Crafting Dead. We are on Atlanta server number one and uh, yeah, it's been a while since I did the Crafting Dead but I wanted to bring it back again as always and I really do enjoy doing the Crafting Dead when it's based off of just surviving and just having fun. So, you know, that's why I want to bring it back and I'm excited. Right now, the reason why I am on Atlanta one is because I do want to bring back that survival aspect and I really do think this will be fun just going around and I talked about this a lot in my last few episodes of the crafting dead also guys let's see if we can really bring back the good vibes of the crafting dead on the channel of course with the role plays coming out soon i really am trying to get the servers out and running right now with mc pro hosting so we are taking some time to getting that worked out for the servers so that's gonna be pretty cool and once that's done we'll get role plays crack a lock in as soon as possible so right now uh we don't have any kits do we okay so we might use a kit actually so let's give that a shot so let's go slash kit and let's go with, um, I don't know, let's go with compass? No, I'm joking, we're not gonna go. We're gonna go, I guess, with ass actually assault. Assault is really just, the pr actually, no, how about, oh my gosh, sticky key, I'm sorry. Let's do this, guys, let's actually not use a kit. How about we just go around and, and try to scavenge as much as we possibly can. Oh, it is raining right now. We're gonna have to put down some of the sound because it is pretty loud, the rain. So, um, let's go in this house and just get some supplies for the most part. All right, let me go options. I believe it's in video settings. No, it's not, it is in, uh, Maybe they don't have that option here. Uh, multiplayer setting, definitely not there. Controls, definitely not there. And that's pretty much the only place I would imagine where they have this. I don't know if we can do slash weather clear. Or slash toggle. Uh, they don't have toggle downfall. Nope, they don't have toggle downfall. Well, okay, so let's see if the rain stops eventually. I don't know, we'll see. We'll just keep going around. We got some food and we got a shovel, so that's... Pretty good, not too bad, not too shabby. What's this say here? I remember Atlanta just brings back good vibes. You know, everything started off here, so it's pretty awesome. And I'm actually thinking of possibly maybe instead just going around on all servers, not just Atlanta, but, you know, not really having a server where I'm just going to sit on and do my series for a long time. Like, I'm just thinking maybe I'll do Atlanta for a week and then move on to Seaport or um, some other places here and there. Just kind of mix and match. Oh, wait, I just need, I need my bandage. There we go. Pretty good. But that's, you know, that's my idea, at least. Uh, you know, give me your feedback. Let me know in the comment sections. And, uh, yeah, it should be pretty cool. Ooh, we got some beans. Ooh, we got a helmet and an empty syringe. That's actually pretty good. So that helmet will do us some good with headshots. Man, it is really downpouring out there. I'll tell you that much. It's good to be in a building. But we got to keep scavenging around, guys. Let's keep going. See if we can find anything in these small homes. For the most part, if we're lucky, we could find something. Some rotten food. Ooh, an empty. What does this say? Liar. So it looks like someone tried to hold off saying, hey, this won't be bad. And then the apocalypse just came up and just, you know, killed them. Zombies came in probably. I don't know. Who knows? Um, but I want to talk about Fear the Crafting Dead because I know you guys are really kind of a little bit disappointed with not having the uploads of Fear the Crafting Dead. But it's really, oh, I don't need the Viking helmet, even though it is pretty, oh, it's a knight helmet. Um, but I know how much you guys really enjoy the Fear, Craft, Fear the Crafting Dead, and I actually really enjoyed doing it as well. And it was honestly just a whole lot of fun. And my main issue, and it's holding me back, is just having a server for it. Because now that the Crafting Dead is getting pretty jam-packed with a lot of servers, it's hard for them to host us a server. And that's one of the reasons why we don't have a server at the moment. But we're in good, we're in good touch with the Crafting Dead, like in Andrew and, the, and everyone in the Crafting Dead community right now. And also the people who are working, you know, we're good with them. But it's just difficult for them to just give us a server and just let us use it. You know, so that's why we're going to be working with some hosting companies to hook us up with the server. And then if we're lucky, we could get some help um, with getting one of the maps on there. And from there, it's all about getting the scripts on and just getting the recordings done. And that should be pretty much it. So, uh, I did mention in my uh, my Minecraft server Let's Play that uh, this Friday I'm actually going to be going on a one-week vacation. So that means I'm going to have to do a lot of pre-recordings. So that won't mean... And, and that actually does mean... Sorry, not that won't mean. That actually does mean that... I'm not going to be able to really get that Fear the Crafting Dead roleplay out in this week. Because, you know, making a roleplay does take a lot of time. It usually takes us, for example, I'll give you guys the scenario of how long it usually takes. So we do the actual script, so we get the script done. Then we do some quick practice runs to make sure we have, you know, our lines down and kind of have our ideas. That's mostly for the machinimas. And then when we go into the actual part without the machinimas, we kind of have to know what we're doing, you know, what's the plan, what are we supposed to be, you know, 
you know, doing in that moment and things of that nature. So that in itself takes about an hour and a half, just getting all that organized, sorted, and just, you know, make sure everything sounds good and we don't have to have any issues when we are actually doing the official recording. Yes, there are some issues once in a while in the recordings, you know, that happens here and there. Um, but after that, we have to go and organize machinimas, which takes a lot of time. Okay, we got a really awesome uh, melee weapon, which is a scythe. Let me see if I can do weather clear again, please. Weather, please go away. No more rain, please. <laughs> All right, so, um, and after that, the machinimas take us a good amount of time. And I'm letting you guys know right now, the machinimas take a lot of time because Bearzilla does an amazing job with working on them. And then we all just work together. Oh, what the heck? The rain, what? Sweet, the rain stopped. All right, sweet guys, so no more rain. Look at that, the freaking, the gods, listen to us. The, the gods of the whatever the craft in dead worlds listen to us all right so we're gonna keep wait there's a truck here I didn't, how come i didn't go inside it so as i was saying the mission must take us a while brazil does a lot of work on them you know we both do a lot of work and now that new members are going to be entering it's going to be interesting because we're all going to have to you know chip in on ideas and it's going to be awesome i really do think it's going to be a great season too um and i'm hopefully hopefully going to get that started as soon as we get this server down if that happens maybe just maybe i can get a video for you guys um in next during maybe next week when I'm on vacation if I get able if I have the opportunity to do some pre-recordings and get that all sorted out so we'll see how that works no promises there and uh, that's that and then after that you know after we do that it usually takes us a, a, of about you know three hours maybe two hours to get a whole entire episode done completed um, and not edited edited takes another let's say maybe an hour so we're talking about you know from a span of two hours to four hours of actually doing all work and it usually takes us around maybe two to three days to get the machinimas completed and all set and ready to go so that's why they're not easy to do you know you guys expect it to be on a daily basis it's difficult you know having it once a week is is pretty much a perfect amount even though it is still a grind because during that week it takes about you know maybe a day or two of the week where we just have some free time to do other things but the other days are really just working on the role play so we're gonna be organizing things we got scripts gonna be happening like always organizing characters so that it's not really just a jump in type thing and i think we're hitting one of the big cities here so we have to keep an eye out here make sure we're safe we do need some food so i'm actually kind of happy we hit one of these cities so that should be pretty cool um and yeah and then also about the maze runner i'm thinking of doing the maze runner on top of fear the craft and dead so just after i mention all that stuff it's just going to be a lot of role plays and a lot of hours, but I think I'm going to be able to time, you know, time, make it really, you know, scheduled really well so that I don't have to kill too much time. I can organize it where it's time efficient is what I was trying to say. So hopefully that works out. The Maze Runner should be really awesome. I'm pretty psyched about that uh, because I really did enjoy watching the Maze Runner movie. And actually someone asked if the Maze Runner was going to be based off the book or off the movie. And it's going to be mostly off the movie because the movie kind of helps us out to uh actually vis visualize it much more than it would be for the book even though i think the book is just really great fantastic i read it in middle school actually and that was a long time ago long 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 time ago so um let's keep looking around here anything else i need some food i have coffee beans but no can opener i do have canned corn but that's not going to really hold up for enough uh payday mask we don't need that and then tactical bacon oh an apple fresh apple let's eat that up Perfect. Let's keep looking around. Man, Atlanta is really awesome. Oh, this is actually the port, I believe. So this is going to be a lot of people here for the most part. If I do slash near 200, uh, we got, ooh, three people that are, two people actually that are kind of close by. So I got to kind of keep out my lookout here, kind of keep safe, look around. But they're definitely down there for the most part near the docks. I'm pretty sure the docks are there. Or maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe this is not actually the dock area because I remember there were more water towers in this map. It wasn't just this one. So let's keep going around. Let's kind of go to the buildings nearby. I think, no, it's not a person. All right, I want to watch. Okay, it's a zombie. Okay, walker. Let's just go in here. Let's just keep a safe lookout. I don't want to get too, oh, there's another scythe. Scythes are actually really good. So we're going to keep those. And for the most part, we don't have any armor. So we can't really go one-on-one -on -one with someone without really taking some heavy damage and possibly dying. So we're going to have to play safe here. How do you use this? Oh, it's, you can use it with a flask. Okay, sounds good. I get that. I get that. All right, so let's keep looking around. Oh, man, I actually have to go in the city. All right, let's just play it safe, though. Let's just go around and play it safe. 
All right, anyone in here? No? Okay. The scythe is actually really good, so I'm pretty psyched about that. Ha, <laughs> get it? No. I'm pretty scythe about that. No, that doesn't work. Those puns are really sad. I, got, I, I can't do that anymore. All right, so we got more of this stuff. We really need a can opener, guys. Our food level is going down. We need some... Actually, we do have a lot of hydration, and we have a lot of drinks and things of that nature, so we're okay on that, but uh, food is a priority right now. Rotten, rotten pear don't need it. Ooh, this is some rotten food. I guess we're going to have to go with it, guys. It's better than nothing. We'll have to deal with it, the side effects, whatever they are. Let's just eat them up. I wonder if they don't give us nausea anymore, do they? Well, that's pretty cool, actually. So that's not too bad. Before, the rotten food actually gave us nausea, so that was a bit of an issue. But now it looks like it's not doing that anymore. So that's not half bad. Okay, we got ourselves a fireman's axe. All right, we're doing okay now. Oh, was that someone? Those are aggro to someone for sure. Maybe not. Maybe not, but I, I'm pretty sure those were aggro to someone. So, oh, oh, that was weird. My mouse just freaked out. Um, all right, let's be careful here. Anything here? Oh, cereal box. Um, all right, so we can actually put that over there. Store it for later. We do need a backpack. If anything in the future, that would be kind of helpful. And let's keep looking around. You know, I just want to make sure we're going to be safe. I want to watch out for my always, always watch out your surroundings because there's a lot of people sometimes in the big cities. So I usually just want to gather as much gear as possible. And of course, now we're kind of doing okay on food. We have some cereal. So those are two edible foods that we can have without a can opener. Oh, there's a zombie in here. The walkers. And another fireman's axe. So we do have some good gear here. We have double of everything for the melee weapon. We can throw out that shovel, sadly, so we don't need that. And we'll organize everything like this. And bam, not looking too bad, actually. So I'm pretty happy with that. Food on this side. Okay, drinks on this side, and syringe, I guess, can go out there, the medical gear. So that's pretty good. All right, we're not doing too well on medical. Oh, okay, back off. One thing that the scythe is actually not too good as is the durability of it because it is kind of low, so we got to kind of have a lookout on that. But I guess we're going to go slowly and break into the city here. If someone does kill us, you know, fair game. But again, I'm a friendly person, so if you do... Oh, it's one of those wells. If we do have a... Um a canteen we can actually use that so if we find one around here i'm gonna do my best to try it out all right looks like the zombies are still not really aggro to anyone down there so there might not be anyone around there so let's put ourselves i guess this yellow shirt i don't know why not it's really gonna make us pop out for the most parts but it doesn't matter at this point we're just survivors we need as much clean clothes as possible and kind of trying to survive this place all right let's keep looking around uh, a wrench. I don't need a wrench. Even though if it did have to use, maybe I would take it. I feel like a wrench, you could possibly use it for a can opener. If, you know, you can... I don't know. Maybe that could be a cool thing to, to do in the, one of the updates. Maybe it does work. Maybe not. I don't know. Let me just give it a shot. Why not, right? Why not? So if you use... Oh, wait. Where's the crafting? There it is. If you use a wrench and a can opener, no. Even though it's really just not possible. But you can pretty much break... You can even actually use a knife... To get into one of those cans so i feel like if you even had one of those simple um knives in the game as well like a melee weapon you could still maybe craft that so you can actually open a can that'd be kind of cool and unique in its way so maybe that could be something to look forward to oh we're in the medical building here all right we have to be careful because you know for the most part i would imagine there'd be being a lot of people in the medical facility here so looking around i don't see anyone holding shift or you can't see anyone holding shift i mean i don't hold i don't see anyone not holding shift so what's that that is a raw pair we don't need that all right looks like someone actually looted this place out uh oh a white backpack we can actually put that on man we are really standing out like no joke guys if someone passed by like we just clearly stand out it's like white yellow and some blue camo helmet so that's just insane so whatever it is what it is let's keep going around let's see anything up here it's got to be some more gear at least we have a backpack i'm pretty happy with that Oh, blood bag. Okay, very good. Just in case we get hit by a, a walker and we're bleeding out. An empty one. If we find someone, we can take their blood. So that's kind of good. Let's go to the top here. We got to watch out. All right, there's no one around. The police building is right there, guys. That's where it's really jam-packed. So we're going to have to make our way to the police building. Uh, I'm going to do slash near 100, actually. Oh, my goodness. There are a lot of people. All right, so I'm going to say... There we go. I just said, if you see me, just don't shoot. I'm not here to kill anyone because I believe they're all at the police station. And uh, that kind of gets me a bit worried because that could be a team. So um, I think they are in the police station, if I'm not mistaken. So I got to play this safe. I'm going to have to move around and kind of get a lookout. The doors. Oh, there's a guy right here. 
I'm not gonna kill him though. I'm just gonna protect him for the most part. Oh, he's gonna die, isn't he? Oh, we can get in the police station. Oh my gosh, guys, 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 we're in the police station. Wait, this is. Oh. I'm hearing steps. Wait, what's going on? I heard footsteps. Is someone up there? I don't think so. We're just scavenging. We don't need any trouble. Okay, I don't have any guns here. What the heck? There are no guns here, guys. What's going on? Okay, there's a... Okay, oh, wait, 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 wait. Is there any ammo on this? No, there's not. We have a tactical vest. Yeah, there's someone here. Someone is here, guys. No, no, friendly, 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 friendly. Peace, 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 peace. I am safe. I'm safe. I'm safe. I'm safe. I'm safe. Oh, guys, we actually... See, this is what I mean. Atlanta's sick. All right, I'm safe. Look, no weapons. No weapons. No weapons. No weapons. No weapon. Safe. No weapon out. Safe. All right, guys, we've met someone that's actually safe. Okay, dude, you are awesome. If you're watching this, dude, high five to you for actually not killing me. So that's pretty cool, dude. No kill. I'm... I'm recording safe, no worries. Just gathering some gear and I'll make my way out. Oh, phone just rang, my bad. Oh, he's giving us a weapon. Oh, sweet dude, thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. I'm gonna store this in here. Look, no worries, there we go. Awesome dude, thank you, thank you. This guy's really friendly, I like it. I like this dude already. All right, let me just take out my uh, gun, let's see, reload, there we go. Pop this in here. Perfect. Oh, dude, you're too kind, dude. That's... Oh, is that an FNFAL? Dude, you are just a hero right now. <laughs> you are absolutely amazing, dude. Thank you so much for this FNFAL. Dude, that is rare. That's awesome of you to do that. I'm gonna just give you that pistol if you want it. Thank... Thank you so much, Survivor. All right, so now that we have actually some decent gear, I can give him that backpack. He can take this as well if he wants. And uh, we can actually throw this in here. Maybe we can do that. Okay, cool. We can keep the FNFAL in our backpack. Um, and we can throw him some other stuff here. No problem, Alexon. Dude, this guy is a legend, guys. He didn't kill us. That's fantastic. That's the first, actually. That's why I like these servers. And that's why anyone asks me why I'm playing Atlanta, this is the reason. All right. I'm going to head out now. Peace. Okay, man. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time, dude. Peace out. All right, sweet. So... We just got an awesome, you know, encounter with someone that's actually quite friendly and really helped us out as a survivor. And that's what I think is the most important thing. He said, peace, Alex, and stay safe. Well, that is awesome. See, that's what I'm talking about. All right, we're going to go in this house, and we're going to call it quits on today's episode. We're going to end it off. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you guys all hit that like button. My name is Alex, and peace out, guys, and stay foxy.